Another day, another video. Welcome back to Tonsbrook Farm. The uh, first job I've got to do is fill up this uh, fuel tanker. We uh, got to go down and fill up the big loader down at the gravel pit because that's getting a bit low. And while I'm down there, I'll also fill up the grover, the grader. So might as well top that up while I'm down there with some fuel. Uh, so yeah, once I get this filled up, I'm just going to wait. Kate from Farmer General should be here fairly shortly with some more roundup. So we'll unload the uh, chem off her truck and then chuck that in our shed so it's uh, all safe and out the sun and then we'll uh, go fuel up a loader. When uh, Kate's here after she's we've tipped that chemical off we'll chuck all those empty shuttles and those empty enviros on and now I'll go back to her and clean my yard up a bit. So this is where we keep all our shuttles and chem. I've got to move uh, these five things out here. The stuff that's coming is Roundup, it's Growler. So this stuff here is, is that. And I've uh, also, there's 6,000 litres there as well of uh, Gladiator, that's also Roundup. Uh, but that stuff's older. So I'll put the newer stuff there, so we use the older stuff first. Cut up with all those empties and now it's time to uh, go and put all that chemical back in the shed. Just finished filling up the, the loader. Time to go and fill Grover up and then after that we will uh, get that chemical packed away. morning dad's coming down and uh, myself and the dogs we're gonna walk this road now and we're just gonna go and pull out any of the rocks that are just that bit too big and annoying and that I can't grade out at the moment because I've got that road to a level surface so things like uh, this one here that one that one there there's 
one over there. <laughs> There's quite a lot. So we're just going to go along and just get them all out just to make uh, my life a bit easier. Things like this, we've got a thick bit of gravel here. And those rocks there just making it a pain for me. So we'll just lift them out and then I can grade them off the top. And then I can use all this nice gravel to then come along and then finish the, uh, the road off. But the way it is now, it's going to take out too much of the road to try and grade them out. So that is the plan for this morning. And then uh, do my final grades across, get this road finished, move up. Uh, I need to do a section up at the, uh, the dam there where we're going to put in those uh, flex sand tanks for, for the spraying. So we're going to put a track there and a pad. So I've got to go and uh, clear some area there for that as well. Nothing beats an early morning walk picking rocks out of a road, but it's done now. We got quite a lot of rocks out and it's uh, going to make it so much easier now to do that final grade across, which is nice. And then uh, after that, we've got, I think it's about 1.3 k's of uh, road to do after that. So, yeah, we've got that to go on with. So back in, uh, back in Grover, I'm just grading these rocks off that uh, Dad and I threw off the track this morning. So I'm just grading them to the side so they're out of the way. And uh, then I'm just going to try and touch up a little section up here which we're going to be doing for the um, uh, a new track to go out to where we're going to put those Flexian tanks for a spray point and uh, after that we're nearly out of gravel so I need to um, see if I can get a hold of a bulldozer to come and push some more up because uh, <laughs> we have run out a lot sooner than I anticipated but it was to be expected with the amount of gravel we're putting down here So yeah, now I'm just having some fun. Lots of rocks. road's just there, well will be just there, and out there is the dam. Now I'm planning to put the uh, two flex sand tanks on the side side there and then also have a gravel pad. So I want to have a, uh, a road going out to that. Uh, this dam is, um, we used it when we, uh, during the drought, we drew from this dam. We got our spray dam to being empty so we use this dam and it's good water and it's uh, got a good catchment on there so uh, yeah that's our plan so we'll uh, spray from here out of this and this will service uh, what it be uh, a thousand hectares maybe a bit more so be uh, bit, it's a nice central spot for, for Henry for spraying and uh, it'd be ideal so just to get a nice gravel road to go out to it because then that way when we bring the chemical truck out it's got a nice road <laughs> it's not not bumpy because of this soft sand out here it will break through so having a nice uh, gravel base will be nice for it so I've just got to work out how I'm gonna uh, grade it clean so that the truck can come along and drop the, uh, the gravel that's needed slight change of plan this is uh, obviously where the tanks are gonna go this is the dam here and I'm just getting ready to grade it but uh, just having a quick trap with Ben there we don't have much gravel left and we're just gonna finish linking up the road up the top there uh, so I'm not gonna grade this now because I don't want to grade it and disturb it and make it soft 
if we're not going to get gravel to it. So I need to make a phone call and see if I can get a hold of a bulldozer to come and uh, push up some more gravel and when that will be I am not sure but uh, for the time being I'll drive back to my road over there and grade the rocks off on the other side of the road. All the rocks are to the side now so that's good. I'll uh, come back this afternoon and I'll be able to do that final grade on that road. Uh, but yeah, time now for some lunch. And after lunch I got a salesman out here to talk about a tractor. Could be a different colour one than what we uh, currently have, so stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, after that I'll uh, be back out here and finish off grading this uh, little bit of road. My chats with the salesman took a lot longer than expected, uh, so <laughs> the day again has gotten away from me. Um, so I thought I'd come down and just check on George, see how he's going. He uh, needs some fuel for Manny, so um, yeah, I've got to pick my daughter up from the school bus in half an hour. So I'll go get her and we shall go and get some fuel and come down here and fuel the tractors up for him so he's all ready and good to roll. We're just here waiting for a uh, George to rock up over the hill and we'll fill in with some diesel. stopped and fueling up just having a check at the fins because with all the rocks they can sometimes get quite damaged but they all look pretty good what can also happen and it'll happen more with lime is it will uh, build up in there and you got to uh, scrape the fins clean so you're gonna get a clean spread but this gypsum is uh, yeah, it's quite rough so it cleans it itself which is nice so George is uh, full of fuel and he's also got his windows nice and clean so you can actually see what he's doing now so we'll just go top up Manny and give those windows a wash as well so he can see what he's doing when he's loading. So George has still got a oh, 650 odd tonne there to go. We're in our biggest paddock at the moment. This is 700 hectares. So he's uh, got a fair bit in front of him to do. But that'll keep him entertained. Fuel trailer dropped off. George is fueled and got his windows washed. Same with Manny, so he's all sorted for the next couple of days. Uh, and that does it for me for today. So if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and I shall see you guys in the next one.